Hi, this is a um, video for Unit 9, Lesson AE. Um, here we're going to take a look at graphing parabolas in vertex form. So here's the model here for vertex form, which is y equals a times the quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. And the a, the h, and the k are going to represent things for us. So first we're going to be able to look at this equation and find our vertex, which is going to be the h value. Oh, wait, let me get my pen. Our h value and then k. But notice in the formula we have that subtraction sign. So when we pull out that h, we're going to be switching that sign. And then if you remember from earlier lessons, our axis of symmetry is going to be a vertical line, so the equation is going to be x is equal to, and it was always equal to that x value from your vertex. So x is going to be equal to that h value again. So let's take a look at some examples using this. Um, here you're given an equation in what we call vertex form, and we just want to identify the values for the vertex and the axis of symmetry. So remember for the vertex, for that h, because we had that subtraction sign here in the formula, we're going to have to switch the sign. So um, the 4 here is positive, so when we write it down for our vertex, it's going to be a negative 4. But this outside number here, it doesn't have a subtraction sign in the form, so we don't have to switch the sign. So this will be a negative 3. So our vertex is negative 4, negative 3. And then our axis of symmetry is going to be the equation x is equal to, and then negative 4. And that's it. So next one, we want to find the vertex. Our h value here is negative 5, so we'll change the sign, and that will become positive 5. And then our y value here will be 7. So our vertex is at the point 5, 7. And our axis of symmetry will be the equation x is equal to positive 5. And that's it. Not too bad. So there's some you tries for you to save to do in class, but now let's really get into this vertex form and put this to work for us for graphing. Um, the nice thing is that just looking at this equation, we can find some information like the vertex and the axis of symmetry without having to use our graphing calculators for that bit at least. So looking at um, number five, our vertex is going to be at positive two, positive one, and our axis of symmetry is going to be at x equals positive 2. So let's go ahead and plot that point here. So we have the point 2, 1. So I'll put a dot here. And then our axis of symmetry will go through that. But we need some more points. So I'm going to start off by putting my vertex point in my table. I'm going to put it in the middle. So this right here is my vertex. So we're just copying that down from before. But we need some more points. So that's when we can have our calculator work for us. So we get our calculator out. Um, let's go to y equals. We're going to clear out what we have in there from before. And we'll type in the equation. Now you want to make sure you type in the equation exactly how you see it with those parentheses. So this problem starts off parentheses x minus 2. And then close the parentheses. Oops, I missed my subtraction sign. Let me try that one again. Parentheses x minus 2. Close the parentheses. Square it. Please excuse the interruption. Oops, we've got announcements coming in the back. Today. We'll ignore it. Keep going. All right. Thanks for inside or outside. Again, JV's doctor is canceled. All right. Sorry about that interruption. But we're going to keep going here. So here's our equation. And um, on the note sheet, there was a table there, so we need some more t some more numbers to put in that table. So to go to the table, we'll go to second and graph. And let's look for our vertex. Our vertex was at 2, 1, which was right here. So I want to find a point, and there's a bell. All right, but we're going to keep going. Um, look at a point above it. So we've got 1, 2, and then another one below it which is at 3, 2. So we had 1, 2, and 3, 2. So let's put that in our table. 1, 2, and 3, 2. So let's plot those points. So we have 1, 2, at that point right here, and then 3, 2. There's 3 up to 2, and we can plot that. So now we can kind of see the shape of our parabola, so we can go ahead 
and connect those points. And there's our parabola. I'm going to extend this a little bit. Don't forget to put arrows on the end. So um, there's our graph. And we just graphed by using the vertex form. All right, so uh, let's see. I think that's the end of the first page. Let's turn our page. And we've got another example before we get to some u tries. So here's our next example. It's in vertex form. So those parentheses are always your clue that this is in vertex form. Let's find our vertex. So our vertex will be at negative 3, negative 2, and our axis of symmetry is at x is equal to negative 3. So let's put our vertex into our table. So negative 3 and negative 2. And let's go ahead and plot that point. So negative 3, negative 2, that gives us a point right there. And now we need some more points. So we'll go back to our calculator. And let's go to y equals clear out our old equation we had because now we're on to a new equation and this one is parentheses um, x plus 3 close those parentheses square it don't forget that exponent minus 2 and I always like to go back and make sure you type things in correctly because I often find those are the biggest mistakes students will make they just type something in wrong you know how to do the math, you just missed a sign or you missed a number. So just uh, proofread that all the time. Let's go to our table. We want to get some points. <coughs> now our vertex was at negative 3, negative 2. So I'm going to arrow up in my table so that I can see that point. So negative 3, negative 2 was right here. So I want a point above it and then a point below it. So We've got negative 4, negative 1, so I'm going to put that in the table. Negative 4, negative 1. And if I go back to my calculator, another point was negative 2, negative 1. And we'll put that in there. So now we have two more points to plot. We have negative 4, negative 1, so I'll plot that right there. And then negative 2, negative 1. Right there. So there's our parabola. So let's go ahead and connect some points. Eek. Let me try that one again. That was a bad parabola. And sometimes we just have to do that. If we have a bad drawing, we try again. You guys all have erasers on your pencils. All right, there's our parabola, and we put some arrows on the end. All right, so now we have some U-tries for you to do. And that is it. That's the end of our video. Not so bad, huh? So make sure you write down what you can do. And then any questions that you have, trying to find the vertex or using your calculator or something. So make sure you ask those questions in class. See you then. Bye.